this what else? This thing? Not the rest is what you say. And what we say, what is said, yes? And uh, what you think? Why descriptive? Uh, so, uh, descriptive is deals with the spoken language and uh, uh, very descriptive uh, uh, with written? With the uh, work written about uh, the uh, traditional grammar as 100%. Very yes, and that's why we call descriptive uh, grammarians yes. because they depend purely on grammar, on written texts. Yes. But, uh, regarded uh, Latin. 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 Regarded Latin language more than any other <laughs> language. Why <Well, laughs> linguistics? Don't regard Latin. Considers the language in question, the language to be described as it is. Well, that's all about the schools. We talked about the scope of linguistics. The scope of linguistics. Boundaries of linguistics. Yes. Very good. Linguistics covers a wide range. A wide range of, of topics within its boundaries. Yes, for example, in the center phonetics. Does it belong to linguistics? Big no. Why? Because it is the raw material of linguistics. The raw material of from this please. Syntax. 
good structure, internal structure of sentence or word order in general? Yes. Now, sometimes this inner circle overlaps with outer one. Overlaps with outer one. Here represents the microlinguistics. Microlinguistics. For example, language, language in society, language in situation, language and computer, language and style, language and psychology. So each of these subdisciplinary fields are called uh, macro-linguistics, okay? So sometimes, sometimes we deal with language in use, the meaning of language is uh, demonstrated when it is used. So this is not semantics, it is another subfield called, yes, yes, pragmatics. Pragmatics. So pragmatics, the study of meaning in, yes, in context, in use, the intended meaning of, uh, of speaker. Now, if we say hello, if we say hello in English, sometimes you say hello, you can answer hello. It is a type of greeting. Sometimes you say hello, is it a greeting anymore? No. Yes. What is it? Kind of reaction. reaction, yes, a supplementary reaction. Now, the second hello, the first hello can be dealt with under the umbrella of semantics, meaning, greeting, hello. Well, the second one, with the pragmat, why? Because its meaning only can be demonstrated through its use. Right? Now, this is a pragmat. Sometimes, we deal with culture. We deal with culture. Sometimes I can say, uh, let's say in Arabic, salam alaykum. Yes. Sometimes we, can, we could say salam alaykum, which means a type of greeting. Sometimes we use it to end, to end a talk and start over again. Sometimes, as I told you, inna inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun. In the Iraqi society, we use inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi to comfort somebody or the relatives of the of the deceased. While other cultures do not use this. So this is language and society. Language and society, which is socio. Socio linguistics. Yes, socio linguistics. Society and and language. Sometimes we investigate or we always investigate literary terms, literary devices, literary texts by using linguistic phenomena. So using language and literature is another subfield of linguistics called yes stylistics. stylistics. Stylistics, yes. Stylistics. Sometimes when we use language in computer, then it is computational linguistics, linguistics just like the application of Adwaki. Translator, Alwaki, this human uh, speaking machine. Sometimes we use it in psycholinguistics. How human being acquires language, learns language. This is called psycholinguistics. Sometimes we study human race, whether Asian, African, American, through their language. So this is called, 
Yes? Why do you use this? Anthropological. Anthropology. Anthropological linguistics. Sometimes we try to apply grammar, phonology, morphology, syntax, pragmatic, social, all aspects of language apply uh, these aspects on a particular issue. This is called applied linguistics in general. We talk about pragmatics, then applied pragmatics, applied sociolinguistics, applied syntax, and so on and so forth. Okay? Now, this is the scope of linguistics. Now, can we define the scope of linguistics and limit the scope of linguistics? Can we? Yes. Linguistics covers a wide, yes, Ahmed? Yes, again, back to my question. Uh, can we delimit uh, the study of, uh, I mean, the range of subfields in linguistics? Yes. It is difficult. Good. Yes, well, it is difficult to delimit the scope of linguistics because language is involved in all these aspects and others. All these aspects and others. However, we can deal with linguistics with society, linguistics with culture, linguistics with literary uh, text, linguistics and computer, and so on. We might have in new different <coughs> genre where linguistics uh, languages involved. Uh, we might study them in future. Now, now that we have defined linguistics as a systematic study of language and its description or describing all its aspects, what is language? What do you mean? What is language? Can we define language? Yes, Aziz? The most important structure that uh, help us uh, to com uh, communicate with the other cultures and the human in general. Very good. Yes. Who else? Language? Yes, speak. Yes, Daniel Asins. Language. What is your definition, your own definition of language? It is a way, a means. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. It is a tool. Uh, a tool, yes. The doctor is a word, a mind, so now what uh, is it? Uh, Very good, could be, yes. Yes, who else? Yes, please. The way that the human described them in their way. Very good. Nice, yes. What else? Yes. Uh, it's a means of, the means of communication. And the means of communication, yes. Yes, well, yes it's a uh, tool of communication and uh, explain our ideas. Very good. Explaining our ideas. Yes, please. Yes, no communication to understand the system. Very good, yes. To understand each other. Yes, please. Very good, yes. What is the definition of textbooks? Yes. It's a specialized... Uh, a specialized... Signal system. Signaling uh, system. To be genetically... For uh, uh, to develop a new... Very good, yes. So language, yes, Ali again, uh, specialized sound. yes, is Signaling. a specialized sound, sound. Signaling system, which means to reach in the of signaling system, which seems to reach in the which seems 
genetically inbuilt or programmed yes to develop in human yes a system which should be uh, culturally transmitted, right? Good. Now this is, as it is mentioned in your textbooks, language is a specialized sound now, what is a specialized and why sound signaling? Why system? What do you think? And why seems to be genetically inbuilt? How how have you come up with this uh, definition? Now, all of your definitions are correct, but each of you uh, handle. Now this is generally speaking. What is language in general? Yes, please, man. Now, first thing, it is specialized. Why? I can't tell. Yes. Uh, so, uh, our our language uh, using a special sounds. It's not. It's different. Uh, the, the language of humans is different from the. Very good. Yes. This is so the point. This is the point of uh, specialized sounds. Very good. Yes. Similar, now specialized. Because they are special to human. Yes. Language is special to human only. Yes. And yes, we use yes. different so, so sound signal and system. system. It is mean uh, we are using a, spe uh, a special sounds and to reference a, a special. Uh, yes, please. I want to focus on sound. And we, we use different sound signaling system. Yes. Different from what? Uh, from from uh, others because we are uh, as a, as a human we using uh, uh, different sounds. Uh, uh, Very, yes, uh, and why we seem to be genetically inbuilt in terms of language, and why the system uh, should be culturally uh, transmitted? Why do we need to learn? How have we come up with this definition? Well, we have come up with this definition through. Yes, please. Defining properties. Defining properties. So through these properties, sound signaling, sound signaling system, arbitrariness, need for learning, duality, displacement, creativity, and there uh, remain uh, two other properties. We'll handle them next time, inshallah. Well, let's start with sound signaling. Sound signaling. First, we said specialized because <laughs> language is special for human only. Good. Now, sound signaling system, so it is a system. It is a system composed of sound signals. Now, to distinguish this language from other uh, means of communication to define language we should compare it to what is not okay we should compare it to yes compare it to what is not compare language to the entity which is not a language right no. uh, what do you think the textbook writer has chosen animals animal Okay with you? Good. Let's start with the first one. Sound signaling. Sound signaling. First, language is a specialized system for human beings, not for animals. Now, uh, sound signaling. What do we mean by sound signaling? So, yes, please. Uh, now, this uh, textbook, uh, the writers. Uh, uh, 
uh, sig sound signals about the animals. We say, uh, in general, uh, the animals communicate by not using a, a language or speci a special language uh, as, as a human. They, yes. uh, they use just a, 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 some sound text, text, you know. sound signal. Yes, text, sound, while human being they use a, a different sound to the use indefinite. Yes. Indefinite sounds number of to, sounds. Yeah. Can use can mix sounds, can uh, combine sounds in to, uh, together to give uh, different meaningful utterances. Yes. While animals using uh, just just uh, so is sound. it so does it exist in animals sound signaling? Does it exist? Yes, it yes, does. Does. But it is not complicated as a human being. It's just a, a simple, 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 word. very simple, uh, simple uh, stock of yes, stock of signal. So the first one, the first one, yes, the first property can distinguish a human being to have a special, special yes, to have a special. No, this is number one. Number two. Arbitrariness. Yes, please. Okay. Special to human language or not? Yes. Good. No. Three. Need for learning. Yes. Many animals automatically uh, know how to communicate with yes. other without learning. This is a system of communication. Very. Yes. In terms of learning, in terms of human beings need to learn. Yes. yes. Need to learn. Whether they learn their skills, yes. talking, writing, uh, writing walking and so on. They need to learn. They need to learn. While, the, while animal communication is innate. This is innate. innate. Genetically innate. programmed. Genetically programmed. So if you take the barking of, the, of, of dogs. Of dogs. Now, can a human uh, talk when you just uh, come to life? How about the dog? Yes, yeah. This is comes to life barking. Yes, right? This is yeah. the difference between animals and, uh, and humans because our yes. language is uh, not innate, it's acquired from others. I need to learn. So yes, the system of our language is innate. Yes. The system is innate. And then by uh, parents, society, and so on and so forth, we'll uh, talk about this later on. Yes, the human uh, learning 
from his environment, culture, yes. so language, and all its aspects could be culturally transmitted from the environment, society, family, parents, friends, and so on. While according to animal communication, this phenomena, which is learning, is uh, genetically inbuilt. Genetically inbuilt. Yes. Now, duality. Yes, so I Good, so duality, yes, thank you. Thank you. Duality is the ability of mixing or combining sound signals to give meaningful utterances. Now, do we have such a thing? Yes, yes, we do. We do have. Do we have such a thing? Do we combine for needs together to give yes, meaningful yes. utterances? Yes, yes. So, this is a specialized. How about animals? Have you ever heard of uh, a cow combining its uh, sound signals to give you a special message, for example? No. no. How about other animals? Dolphin sometimes has uh, chimpanzees, but to a very limited extent. While human beings can do difference and so indefinite. Uh, messages by combination of these means. So is it specialized to human being? Yes. So through duality, language is specialized in. Now, displacement. Yes, say. Uh, most uh, animals can uh, communicate uh, about, about things. Good, yes. Thank you, yes. Right? Good, yes, yes. Right. Is it a special feature to human language? Yes. yes. How about uh, animal communication? No. no. It is not. Good. Now, last thing, creativity. Yes, Ali? Yes, creativity. Uh, uh, animal have limited uh, uh, number of messages. Yes, stop talking, please. Stop talking. Yes, Ali? Yes, uh, the animals can uh, have limited uh, number of messages. Can be sent or received. Yes. But the human uh, can... Uh, uh, can, can it create can it, can it too uh, many more yes, can it uh, sentence at time and still uh, understand it? Uh, it's, uh, very nice, same, yes. Uh, same than, uh, yes. yes. If you ever heard, yes please.
Yes, yes, thank you, yes. If I ask you, yes, thank you. If I ask you, all of you, to give me sentences that I've never heard, would you be able to do that? Yes. yes. Each one of you. Now, let's say if you, if, if you are 51. Now, I've had 50 normal sentences. Sentences that have never been heard. How about this? Uh, do animals have this property? No. no. Ever? It's uh, just a, uh, a very limited, yes, yes, very, very limited, very limited, unmeaningful uh, utterances or sentences or whatsoever. See, so the answer. Now, is creativity a specialized uh, <coughs> property of language? Now, according to these five or six features, how can we define language? How can we define language? Now, we said language is a specialized sound signaling system which seems genetically inbuilt to develop, to develop in a human, a human. A system which should be culturally transmitted. Now, according to these, now we just explained them, we compare them to uh, animal communication, and we found out that they are special to <laughs> Now, how can we find out a definition according to these six? We still have two. Items. Now, uh, we want to uh, define language according to these six. How can we? Yes, please. Language itself, yes. We can say this language is specialized sound signaling system. Arbitrarily, yes, yes, in need for learning, which has, yes, let's make it a sentence, or which is characterized by duality. Displacement, creativity, and others. Others, patterning and structure dependence. We'll deal with them next time. Okay? Now, up to here. Who can tell me about sound signal? Sound, is it special to you? Sound signal? Yes? How come? Yes, please. I don't know this. Is it a special to human being? Sound signaling system? No. Uh, it's a uh, sound signal for, uh, for the human. Uh, for the uh, animal. Human and animal. No. So both the human, the humans and animals have sound signaling system. What is the difference? What makes language so special to human beings? Yes, I see. There's a difference between the language of the human being and the other animals. Animals use, uh, sometimes use the waving, sometimes use the direction to communicate with others. Yes. But the human being use a uh, spoken while Is it this language? Yes. Yes, it's a language. Yes. In addition to signs, to sign, to waves, to all of these types of communication. So is it special to human beings? Yes, no. No, why not? It's not special for human beings. Why not? We have a very complex sound signal system. Phonemes, phones. Yes. How about animals? Just a very limited model itself. So is it special to human beings? Yes. yes. This is the first property which defines language. Yes. How about arbitrariness? Yes, who can explain arbitrariness? <coughs> yes. Yes, please. The ability. Yes, the link. Yes. yes. It means the link between the sound signal and the message. The sound signal and the message. 
for animal communication, there is a strong link between sound signal and message. While human being, it is arbitrary. There is no signal, although there are very few. However, it is arbitrary. We speak arbitrary. Good. Yes. Uh, need for learning. This is, is the need for human being to learn to the language through the environment, the environment, the culture. How about animals? Yes. Uh, the humans say uh, uh, automatically now will uh, how Good. Like if you, if you, uh, if you bring a dog and keep it in a cage, uh, like you, you, you take it from its mother and keep it in a cage for, let's say, a year, for two years. Now, do you believe this dog will bark naturally? Why? This dog good. This dog needs not to be learned. It doesn't need to learn uh, this means of communication. How to bark? How about a human being? If you ever heard uh, of uh, watch the movie uh, Jungle Boy or something like this? Yes. And there are so many experiments regarding this uh, issue. Yes. Now, if we put this human being inside the jungle or without in a soundproof uh, room, without, without hearing any word from any human being, now after five or let's say four years, four or five years, can this human talk naturally or can, can this human talk no. ever? He cannot talk yeah. at all. Why? Uh, sir. Because the language is dependent on listening and imitating in, in general. Good. We are listening to others. And Although we are wired, we are as a human being, wired with all language aspects, all, all language parameters. Yes, but we, we need do to. need to environment. We need the environment. Yes. We need the culture. We need the parents, family to learn from uh, all the, the, the aspects of language. Exactly. Now, is it... Now, who needs to learn, a human or animals? So, need for learning is a special defining feature uh, to learn. Yes, Sarah Saad, please, what's going on? Keep up with us, please. Yes. Then, duality. Duality. Yes, Bay? Good. How we take advantage of our vocal sound, vocal sound system? We can compound. Yes. Very good. Yes. There is a good experiment applied to a, a chimpanzee called Lara. Yes. This chimpanzee was trained for two or one and a half years uh, to produce sound signals whenever this chimpanzee needs banana or this uh, stuff, okay? But after these years, days and months, uh, they stop feeding him. They stop giving him the banana for I think one and a half day when they get sleep at night they wake they woke up and the, in the morning they found a full messy kitchen why why they reached to the extent that this monkey this chimpanzee can act like a human 
But when 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 the banana was stopped, he turned the the, the kitchen into a complete mess. Fawda. Why? Can't he communicate with them? Asking the family, I want bana banana, I want. Why? Yes, Just express to, to uh, the I know, but can this chimpanzee ask at least? No, no. Or produces? Sounds and producing sounds. And... Very good. Now, uh, what can we derive from this story, from this experiment, let's say? Very good. Yes, animals cannot communicate in a way like a human being do. Can they? And the best example is Lara. Okay? And there are so many chimpanzees went uh, under uh, so many experiments, but the, the results are one. Have you watched the movie uh, the planet of apes Caesar, Caesar. 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 Yes. yes have you watched this Caesar how 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 he was developed just like a human being but the end is is nothing the end is Caesar is an animal so different from human being although he was talking at uh, in the in the movie which is something far, far away from reality. Okay? Yes. Uh, now, do, now, again, in, in, in duality, can we put uh, letters together to give words? Good. Can we put words together to give utterances, sentences? How about uh, animal communication? They cannot do that. Why? Because they have a very limited, yes, signals, yes, to be communicated with. Now, uh, displacement. Yes, again, displacement. Yes, safe. Yes, please. Is the ability? Yes, is the ability? Yes, to communicate about things yes at present at the present or past at the present or past now we talk about animal communication we talk about animal communication so you can give us an example can your baby say you cannot call the baby, you cannot give the baby uh, he or she according to the gender. Or the baby it. Why? Because he can, can't communicate about things. About things, yes, at least gentle with you. You are feeling angry, you will try. Like just like animal. Yeah, yes. Just like just a single single uh, single sound. When when can we when can we uh, call this baby he or she according to uh, After two years of Yes, you know, after when we he start to uttering uh, Good when he or she start uh, 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 u
starts using language. Okay? Now, can we say language is fine? Language is fine? From this example, what we say, the baby, we cannot call the baby uh, he or she. It's because his mind doesn't kick in yet. So, now after using language, we can say his mind now is in a complete way, in a complete shape. Now, can we call this language just uh, this mind? Or mind is language? What do you think? Now, if you, if you see a crazy one, see a crazy one walking and talking so many different things and related things you will call this this one right away crazy unstable why what do you think how, how come you judge this is a crazy one this is not so called about uh, his language is uttering any uh, sentence or uh, yes. so he's a crazy because he can't use language properly so what is language is it mind is it part of the mind yes it could be it is part like the, the, the the other picture of our minds, because we are uh, ex expressing our, our feelings, our needs uh, uh, by using the, the language. So language is mind. Language is mind. I'm not interested in whether language is mind or mind is language or not. However, I want to ask you about animals. Animals. Do animals uh, have mind? Have mind? According to what we said, they have not, they don't, they don't have mind. Do they? They don't have. I'm not talking about the brain. The brain. The mind. The source of. Uh, rational thinking. Do animals have such a thing? What do you think? Yes? Yes. Now, have you ever uh, seen a cow, let's say? A cow, but referred this way to that way? I mean, uh, thinks rationally? So they don't have no time. Even if they do, it is a very limited, a very limited, a very limited uh, mind, which is related to God. They might uh, worship God, mind. Well, in terms of language, they do not have their own language and their own mind. Do they? So this is the way how we can say that language is the only uh, fine thread. It's the only fine thread uh, which separates a human being from not human. It could be uh, <coughs> animal, it could be other type of creature. Okay. So what is it? Is it God gift? Yes, that's not yeah, religious. Yes. <coughs> yes. Yes. Language. What is it? Is it God gift? Yes. Yes. Of course. Yes. yes. How come? Because. Because. On the human being. Yes. On the human being has this 
future. Okay? Yes. Now, let's have a quick uh, recap before we finish up. So today, we started with linguistics, which is defined as the study, the systematic study, yes, and description of all uh, language aspects. Then we move to scope of linguistics, yes, and we said linguistics covers a wide area of topics. It is difficult to limit or delimit these topics. We talked about the inner circle and the outer circle, the microlinguistics, the macrolinguistics, the microlinguistics represents phon phonetics. The center is not is not uh, within the, the inner circle. It is the raw material according to which we depend in studying linguistics. Then, phonology, grammar, and semantics. Uh, there are two opinions regarding grammar. Regarding grammar. One opinion say that we do not say syntax and morphology. We only say grammar, which means syntax and morphology. The other school uh, says that we should say phonology, yes, morphology, syntax, semantics. They uh, make no difference, okay? And then between semantics and the outside world of language, inside the language, and there is a pragmatics, the pragmatics, in which uh, situation is engaged. The meaning depends on the situation, as we, we just mentioned, assalamu alaikum, or hello, okay? Then society, with which is outside the language, outside the where language is involved, or language invo is involved in society, then it is sociolinguistics, related to studies of language in society. Then we talked about stylistics, the study, yes, of language in literary texts. Then we talked about computational linguistics, the study of langu uh, co uh, language and computer. Then we study, we talked about psycholinguistics. Yes, linguistics, uh, language and psychology, how a human being acquires and learns language. We, yes. We talked about anth uh, anthropo anthropological linguistics, how uh, to study language according to human race, and so on and so forth. Yes, then we talked about the definition of language. We just try, in fact, try to define language. There are so many books, references, encyclopedias uh, yes MA and PhD uh, dissertations written about how to define language they reached they, keep, they kept trying and we also keep trying to define language well here we just try to define language through part of its uh, properties. We call these defining design or uh, pro uh, defining design properties of language. Now up to here, do you have any question? Any addition? Anything that you haven't understood yet? Yes? Yes, sir. Any suggestion? Well, that's it for today. Next time, try to uh, continue with 
patterning, structural dependence, up to the end of this chapter. Next Wednesday, you will have a quiz. Next Wednesday, you will have a quiz. What I mean, I mean by quiz is I pick up any one of you to come over here to explain to us this lecture. This lecture. That's it. Thank you very much.